All right, here's something you don't see every day. Panasonic AF100, the micro four thirds inch camera. I've got stuck on the front here a hot rod tuner, that, which is an adapter that goes from micro four thirds inch mount to 35 PL mount. And then on the front of that is something that's exclusive to Apple Cinetech. This is the HDX2 B4 to PL optical adapter. What does that do? It lets you take a two thirds inch lens and it will project the image onto the AF100. It's actually sort of doubling the image size. So this particular lens is a 7.6 to uh, 133. That on micro four thirds speak becomes a 15 to 270 roughly. And you'll get that image that you're used to, that, that micro four thirds delivers for uh, depth of field and field of view for a 15 to 270 in this case. That's what you'll get out of this. And the HDX2, is specifically designed to do this sort of work. It was actually originally designed for uh, use on our phantom cameras for the Flex and the V640, so that you will the len these lenses would cover the 1920 by 1080 image area, and you'd be able to shoot on those cameras like 2,500 frames a second at that frame. So that's great for sports and whatever, but. This is also nice on the AF100 because now you can take a two thirds inch lens. Or there's tons of these lenses and lots of different sizes available. They're excellent quality glass and you can put it on to this camera and you have a nice little shooting kit. We had to accessorize some. So we put a battery back here that can, you can power the camera off of it. But in addition, with a little cable that we'll make, you'll be able to power the lens so you, your zoom will work. And as well, it will also connect to the camera so that the run stop trigger right here will actually run and stop the camera. We still had to work out, you know, if you're going to hand hold, can't use this viewfinder, it's too far back, can't use the LCD, it's really not positioned properly. So we have the Cineroid EVF viewfinder, which pairs really well with this camera. I mean, it has a one-to-one -one zoom focus uh, control in here that you don't even have available in the camera, so it actually really enhances its use. But it also makes this system work because it you're now not locked to the body of the camera in any way. This viewfinder can go anywhere. And in this case, moved it on the, clamped it to the rods, moved it pretty far forward. Doesn't block the lens. You still have total control of the lens here. But now you can get your head where you want it and balance the whole system. You're really balancing the lens to the battery and the camera's the sort of focal point of the, the teeter-totter, if you will. So it might look odd at first, but it's actually extremely comfortable. The whole thing, first off, weighs nothing. Can pop it right up on my shoulder. I'm not going to use that hand grip. In fact, I could take this off and put a nano flash if you want to record that way. I'm going to use this one, the way you would hold a two thirds inch camera. Now, the balance point of any camera, generally you want to put the tripod plate there. And when you go hand hold, you generally want to put the balance point uh, on your shoulder pad as well. So we'll have a solution for our shoulder pad to go right there as well. But frankly, I find it quite comfortable to just sort of sit on my shoulder. The whole thing weighs so little, it's not a problem and it functions. I can look right in here. I can see an image. I can take the lens, focus, and zoom when I have that plugged in. And it works very well on my shoulder. Now, you might find this viewfinder wants to go a little for forward or up or down or whatever, but I have total control to do that. I'm not locked to the camera. And the lens looks great on here. Why would I do this? Well, this is a very inexpensive system compared to some two-thirds inch cameras both two thirds inch cameras that are available. Also, these lenses are great glass and they're very available. So you have a lot of ability that you can compile together here. A lot of people already own parts to this. You might own two thirds inch lenses and want to be able to make them work with this camera. And in addition, now with this whole setup, you've got a two thirds inch lens that delivers that four thirds inch depth of field, which everybody's into that shallower depth of field. And this camera is 1920 by 1080 and can shoot 60p in a relatively small form factor, lightweight, easily hand holdable, and relatively inexpensive as well. So we're tweaking it, but it's a pretty interesting concept with things only available here exclusively from Able Cinetech.